season they're looking to go one better to go up as champions and they'll have their first attack of the game here through Roberts cuts onto his left has a shot and it's a goal it's taken five minutes and it's fantastic from Callum Roberts who just jinx inside onto his left foot on the edge of the D and wraps his foot around a shot that finds the bottom corner. Terrific finish. And that is the worst possible start for Oxford City after a really promising first three or four minutes. Six yeah, foot six Jalen Jones is in there, as is Reese Fleet and Josh Parker. Lewis Coyle provides the early, uh, the short option for Ashby, but he'll cross it into the near post, but it doesn't beat the first man, Denton, who heads away. Frustrating. Coyle, though, will whip the ball back in to Jones. Wins the header, and it's a goal! Corey Andrews equalises, the linesman's flag stays down, and that is what Oxford City deserve after a really solid start here. And Corey Andrews, with his second goal of the season, runs over to the Brickon stand, celebrates in front of the Iron supporters, and Oxford City a level after 18 minutes here at Glanford Park. I'll tell you what, Andy, that was fantastic work from Lewis Coyle. He lost the, uh, the possession just on the edge the box from the corner Andrew Boyce and the, the big men are still up from the back Le- little uh, neat ball out to the left side from Joe Rowley into the penalty area and uh, off the head I think of the substitute Fishburn and, uh, and it's with Roberts the goal scorer on this right touch line it's got Andre Burley uh, sorry Che and Azalu um, uh, tracking him he gets past Ezinolum into the penalty area to Fishburn Fishburn gets the ball across cleared off the line by you fancy either it's going to be Ashby I think but it's uh, three man Scunthorpe United war 25 yards from goal it will be Ashby and you can tell by the ironic jeers that that has uh, gone over the bar at home game so congratulations there anyway City have got a bit of defending to do at the end a ball into the box chance here yeah, City haven't yet cleared it. Scunthorpe player goes down under a challenge. Referee says play on. Ball back into the back post towards Whitehall. And it's cleared off the line. And that's uh, Andre Burley back there again, clearing the ball off the line. That looked like... Jones' clearance falls to the feet of Roberts. He'll jink forward and he's brought down for a free kick. Ironic cheers from the Scunthorpe fans behind the goal. Probably one of the softer free kicks we'll see him today but it's very much within shooting distance here for Callum Roberts. So we're just waiting. The referee's whistle goes. It is going to be Roberts over the wall, and it's in! Scunthorpe take the lead again. And it's a free kick from Roberts. I think it wrong-footed the goalkeeper, Riley Mitchell. I'm not sure if it took a deflection on the way in, but it's gone in, and Scunthorpe take the lead again. Here against... A full-time outfit and a very strong one in the former EFL side, the Iron. Scott goes one way, then the other, but he's had the ball nicked off his toes and Roberts is in here. Tries to poke the ball past the uh, back line. Chance! Roberts! Right-footed shot whisks across the post and he was inches away from having a hat-trick. Alfie Potter getting himself forward towards the penalty area. He's got Andre Burley out to the right. Burley gets his low cross in, but it's not a great cross and it allows... Scunthorpe to clear but only as far as the substitute Potter into Ashby back to Burley up uh, to Carbon Carbon's first cross is cut out Potter lovely little skill there from Potter turns his man he gets himself to the edge of the penalty area Ashby City trying to get this goal Carbon gets the ball across to the back post towards Jacob Roddy headed away though by Barrows and it's out of play for Another City throw, taken quickly by McEachran. They can sense something here, City. Into, M- into McEachran. McEachran bursts into the penalty area. City still have got the ball. <coughs> Andre Burley picks up the loose ball and it's going to go out of play for another Oxford City throw. And City are finishing the half with this free kick. Jalen Jones goes forward. The only player in the Oxford City half now is the goalkeeper, Riley Mitchell. As we go into the second minute of time added on, can Oxford City salvage something at the death here? They trail 2-1. Josh Ashby with this free kick. Midway inside the Scunthorpe half of the field. Ashby raises both arms in the air, chips the ball into the penalty area, looking towards Roddy, headed clear, only as far as McEachran who finds Josh Ashby back to McEachran again McEachran out to Roddy on that left side Roddy a little one-two with McEachran McEachran a nice neat ball into Ashby Ashby gets a ball across towards Parker but it's headed clear 
Parker was shaping to get his head to that but just nodded clear as Parker was so close to it and there's a little bit of dare I say panic in the Scunthorpe ranks at the moment because City really are finishing this half in the ascendancy can they get this equaliser Potter oh he gives the ball away then tries to win the ball back and does really well he gave the ball away but then dived into a challenge on Jason Law and won the ball back and it's with Fleet Fleet finds Roddy on that left touch line again Roddy ball forward to McEachran McEachran into Parker in the penalty area goes down gets back up again wasn't looking for a penalty there McEachran still McEachran Parker across the face of goal it's going to be a goal to Oxford City and Oxford City have equalised and it's Aaron Drew the magical man the ball across from the right Aaron Drew at the back post and Oxford City have equalised at Scunthorpe with one and a half minutes to go. It's Scunthorpe United 2, Oxford City 2. Welcome back, Aaron Drew. He loves the goal line, both defending and attacking. Brilliant ball to the back post. And Aaron Drew, the smallest man on the pitch, with the biggest header. Lewis Coyle booked on the line and now there's going to be one and a half minutes of Scunthorpe pressure Brilliant. where City have to stay strong but they've equalised. Brilliant. Aaron Drew. Brilliant, brilliant from Aaron Drew. Cometh the hour. 